What's up, dog? Are we up, dog? Yes, we're up. Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another week of Terra War of Awakening, where we never really know when we start, and we never really know when we're going to end. So, uh, we're going to make intro short and sweet, because we're low on time, and yeah, so whose turn to recap this week? Me. Yeah. Just no, I don't think so. I think we agreed that we were going to cycle in Devin's character. Devin's character right, right, right. Cause he's, yeah, because yeah. we said no matter what. So, um, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and give us the recap for what happened last week. Okay, so there's a couple things I remember. Uh, I definitely remember meeting up with um, Orsic and Luther in Witch, or Witchwell. And uh, that was through Damien at the Arch Wizard's Tower. Um, well, first we meet in the town, and then we go to the tower, right? Uh, Anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we kind of form, like, a party together. I tell them I just want to, like, take off with them and work together on common uh, pursuits, common interests. And I believe from there, we, we start moving towards, forget the name of the town. We go west. Let me pull up the map here real quick. Okay, so we're heading towards Altharas. Am I right, John? Yep. Okay, we're heading towards Altharas, which is on the coast um, near Crescent Island. And on the road, we encounter... So, well, we're traveling for a couple days. I'm not sure exactly where we find them. What? Maybe, was it Daramir or Canton that we ran into them? Ran into what? On the road to Daramir. Ran into what? The, the, <laughs> the shit weasels. Uh, <laughs> you were traveling, Sticky yeah, you were traveling ones. between uh, Daramir and Canton. All right, cool. So, yeah, we were on the road, and we encountered this stream. Uh, out in the wilderness, so we decided, as a party, to go get try and like find out what was going on with the screen. We headed towards the screen. There was a cave, and in this cave were what looked well. Was it Orsic? Orsic decided to go in and investigate. And at the entrance of the cave, he noticed two of these um, shadowy figures that looked as if they were horses in the cave. Um, all of a sudden, they rushed Orsic. And they turned out to be these kind of like weaselly looking rodents, but they were like these giant rodents, and they they reeked of feces and disgusting filth. And uh, then we started our encounter, and Orsic uh, engaged one of the shit weasels, and they basically like fl one flanked him and one started attacking him, and he was overcome with this like need to vomit and he just this disgusting smell made him vomit. So his character was incapacitated and then he rushed towards, uh, the, the shit weasels rushed towards Luther and Dorian. And uh, yeah, we engaged them and actually ended up killing them after quite a while of fighting. We ended up going into the woods a little bit, into the brush and having an engagement there. Yeah, it was it wasn't easy, and I was unconscious for most of it because they just were super <laughs> strong, and I was like a second level, and you guys are like thirteenth level, so there was a bit of a difference there. But I was okay afterwards. They uh, Orsic killed me up, and we ended up killing the shit weasels, and uh, check the cave for loot. And in the cave were. Two magical items. 
One was a magical sapphire, which was of like I believe like modest or like moderate magical power. And then there was a in a in a pack, in a separate chest. There was a black and red sphere, like a something out of Lord of the Rings, like Saruman's like eye or something, like this weird looking orb. But I don't know if it's we didn't know if it was a like evil or did we? I, I think that I think we had like a reason to believe it. Yeah, we just kind of left it alone. We didn't we didn't know what it was. So yeah, we finished. The only thing you know is that it's magical. Okay. And it's red, I guess. Well, anyway, we saw a bunch of loot too. We got a bunch of gold. I think like twenty five hundred gold or something something crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much we grabbed, but there's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And now we're kind of. Uh, Done with that cave. It was disgusting. We didn't see much except for a bunch of scraps of clothes and bones. We never found that chick that screamed or whatever, whoever was screaming, which sucks. We should try and find her. I feel like somebody was being murdered. Unless it was like these shit weasels and they just wanted to, <laughs> to be like, this will trick anybody. Like, you know this. Like, we're, we're these like weird shit weasel mutant things. Uh, yeah. And we're heading back towards... Alpharus, but we're on the road to Canton, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, it was a pretty good recap. The only thing you missed was that we spent like 80% of our session <laughs> yeah. chasing after oh, his stupid the, beer. The flagon. I, did, I thought about that earlier today. I completely forgot to mention the flagon. <laughs> I was trying to, I would do the, the shit we just got to me. Yeah, it, it was the engagement. It was the engagement. But you anyway, know what? yeah, what is the Waffles flagon? That <laughs> poured endless amounts of uh, wine. You stole, stole the whole fucking day. Yeah, I was going to say... You threw it down the street or something. Some guy went and ran off with your flagon. Yeah. And his tabard. Two separate yeah, and your tabard. And I want a tabard, by the way. You have one now. We, yeah, we, we oh, got yeah, him yeah. back. Yeah, you all have one. Um, and he stressed, it's the last one you're getting, so don't lose it. Um, yeah. Yeah, where's it? Yes, he did Super specifically say that to Orsic, but you probably imagine he won't take kindly to you losing yours either. Yeah, he had a discussion with the Baron, right? Mm hmm Yeah, he kind of got punished. So you get 150 experience for your recap, uh, which actually puts you over the threshold for level 4. Yes. But... We do not, um, we don't level up in our sessions until the end of the session. So try to live if you can, and then you'll be level four. All right. <laughs> those third level spells I have to learn. You don't sound too confident. Oh, I just have to learn those third level spells. I have to like make them part of my loadout or something. So I'm you're at the loadout I have right now. 2,849 experience total. Um, yeah, and I did go ahead and add all of your second level spells to your roster on your character sheet. So awesome, thank you. kind of start looking through those and, um, decide what spells you want to take today, please. Uh, God, how many spells did we say you could take? It was like, I think it was six or seven. Um, while I look that up. Uh, I just want to say I went back and watched the VODs real quick um, because I was pretty sure at the end of the session you guys had bamboozled me, and I was correct on that. So you are in Canton, uh, not Emeraldus or whatever you said. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just said we were heading there. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we, we got a little bit confused uh, where we were on the road. So you're actually in the small village uh, of Canton. It is the morning of the 23rd of Shower Bloom, and the weather is moderate today, kind of cloudy. Uh, it's still the spring, technically, um, so it's only like 50 degrees. A little bit chilly, but it's not too bad. Where'd you say we were? You're in the small village of Canton. Uh, it's in between the large cities, Daramir and Emeraldus which border the uh, the large lake uh, around Crescent Island. Um, 
So you guys are in town. You're awake and uh, free to do whatever you wish to do today. Uh, Orsic starts his day off quietly sulking, but he still does not have his login. But they're on the road, so he's knowing he's not going to find it until, at the very least, until they get back to Witchwall. So wait, where are Desmond left, right? Yes. He, yeah, he was split off. He's going to. Okay, cool. Where are we heading again? So you can yeah you can memorize seven spells right now I was correct, um, so pick <laughs> between like the twenty spells you have or however it might be like thirty, um, yeah choose that's a lot. seven of them, uh, and you can cast two second level spells right now and four uh, first level spells. You said two second level. Yeah, so you can see the number yeah, on your right. character sheet. Yeah, these are it. Yep. Definitely want to get poison after those shit weasels. Protection from poison. <sighs> this thing's kind of wreaked havoc on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly, I kind of want to make it a goal to eventually heal Orsic all the way back up to his normal health, like full HP. Um. So five E is easy mode on he HP regain. Uh. So every time you take a long rest you get all of your HP back. Ooh. So he so is back. Like, wow, okay. So he's back to max HP. Yeah, you guys got a nice... How much you have now? You guys got a nice relaxing points. rest in town at an inn. Ate some oh. good food, drank some water, rested up, had some conversation, and you are rejuvenated. How much health do you have again, Orsic? Sorry, I didn't hear you. 125. <laughs> all right, cool. You sound very healthy. He's a, he's a healthy. Uh, I just think the chest is, but it's okay. I'm fine today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like ah yeah, I just slept it off. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's what makes it a hero. So uh, I mean, the third probably says we should try to figure out what these magical items do. Yeah. Um. Definitely what agree. Do I don't think there's gonna be anybody that's gonna. No, it tells much here in small town, small village. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say? Did you say it was a village or a town? It's a village. Yep. So. It's just kind of like a a flyover village. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I guess a ride over village, yeah. uh, between the large cities. People, you know, merchants come here and stay, and you know, the inns do quite well. But well, uh, I don't know how not big. Much in the way of entertainment. Right. I don't know how big this. Uh, uh, Altheris is that we're going to, but um, hopefully we'll. I guess if the Shadow Fang, at least if our contact in the Shadow Fang is there, then we'll. Uh, um, we can trust that it's large enough. Maybe there's a wizard or someone who can give us some information on them. As Orsic tries to remember, was Altheris we're going to, correct? Yep. I'm go I'm uh I'm in my room, correct? In the inn. Uh, I, assumed, I, I assumed that we had reconvened uh at some point, but if you want you can be in your room in the morning. Well, I'll just say that I'm with him right now to make it convenient, but I'm just gonna tell him like I'm gonna go on autopilot for a sec because I have a new bunch of things in my head that I have to kinda of figure out as far as spell wise. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Orsic take the lead and kind of just let me, like, I'm on his leash, so I'm just gonna like hang around and listen okay. to what you guys have to say, you know? Right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so is there anything you guys want to do in Canton today? Anyone you want to talk to, anything you want to, any supplies you want to reprovision? Uh, I think we should provision that flag in Orsic. Say that. I don't want to say that. You need to find your flagon, man. Yeah, we're not going to find it here. I don't think you say anything. You just say, feels bad, man. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to find it here. Salt in the wound, thanks. I think I'm just going to, like, bust his 
bust his balls a little bit about losing that flag in. Because mm-hmm. a priest would want to make a little bit of light humor about it, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we will find your flag and we're sick, don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, other than that, I'm just... I guess we'll head out of town unless anyone else yeah, wants to do anything. I wanna, I wanna, I'm interested in uh, this, the red orb. Thing. Which I think I think Dorian is carrying both of them. Yeah, um, I, he was carrying both of them, but I'm... In I, separate I, backpacks specifically, because I put backpack number two five pounds on his character sheet. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, you guys just find out... Uh, what these are, so I want to go. I want to get to somewhere, yeah, to investigate these magical items. Okay. You're not gonna try and do that here. Yeah, let's try and do that. Uh, where would we go to do that, Orsic? Or Luther, I should ask. Luther would probably know about these kind of things. Uh, well, in a smaller village like this, it's highly unlikely that there will be someone skilled enough to identify and match. Hell's that? Uh, I'm just dick around with. All right. Character sheet. I'll go with you. I'll just, let's just try to get Did these work? investigated upon. No, 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 no. I'm just Soon. trying to edit it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so what are you guys doing? Sorry, I I was talking to Logan. Uh, wh- oh, I was telling him about how there's most likely going to not be someone skilled enough to identify these in this town. So, yeah, we're just going to try and find somebody in maybe a bigger town or travel somewhere. Perhaps the next town. Okay. I've heard, heard it's a little larger. Right. So, just going to head we, out then? Yeah, we have horses, right, that he lended us? Yep. That, yep. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You both have a pair of stock horses that Damien provisioned for you. Uh, but Dorian has his own war horse. Yeah, he has yep. his horse. Uh, which he named elegantly Tater or something like that. <laughs> Tater. Tater. Tater Sal. Right. Ron yeah. White, from now on. We're just Ron White, White, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> rest in peace to Ralphie May. I know, right? Uh, I was like... That's some sad shit. I didn't know much about him, but I like heard some, some of the stand-up and I really liked it. I was like kind of sad to hear about that. Um... So before anyway. we leave town, I do need your seven spells for the day, Dorian. Yep. Uh, definitely if we roll this. random encounters, then I have to know what spells you have. Otherwise, we met a game and go, oh, wait, no, I have more combat spells, actually. No, I'm wondering why it's not going red for the... Dorian, what? this is when you start uh, making... You have to click the preference spell. spells. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah. I'm doing it wrong. And I guess Luther doesn't have to prep spells because he is a sorcerer. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, I ha- I have a set number of spell or set spells that I know. Which that's I might yeah, be yeah. Switching out once I level up for some others. <clears throat> right, that's right. Two you can switch out two spells. spells for two different ones. I might be getting more direct damage going for me. Which ones don't you like right now? Oh, I mean, I don't like I don't mind all my spells. I like all my spells, but yeah. Um, Right now, it's looking like I might, uh, maybe switch out, like, ah, it's hard. They're all really useful. I would say, I I would say the one you haven't really utilized is Mirror Image, but. Yeah, but I I should be using that a lot more along with Mage Armor. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know, Yeah, Mage Armor is, like, an obvious one, but. Yeah. There's, um... One spell that's really useful. Um, forget what it's called. It's like preparation or something. Basically, it's a spell that you cast alongside another beneficial spell, and then when anything like you choose the criteria. So like, you know, if someone tries to swing at me with a sword, then this spell goes off. So you could use it with mage armor, and then uh, mage armor would just instantly come up on you. That's a really useful spell for combat. That way you don't have to waste a round casting mage armor. Yeah, that's true. Just, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
so yeah, you guys head out. I guess you don't go shopping or anything. Um, conversations that we want to have today along the road between Canton uh, and Emeraldus. Anything we want to say to one another, grow our relations. Uh, so, uh, while we fill dead air time for Devin to figure out his new spells. I think I have them all. Do I have to find one more? Seven, yeah. Okay. Horsig's uh, just going to ask uh, um, all right. Dorian where... I guess we already kind of talked about that. We'll find your flag in Orsic, don't worry. Let's go. Where's my flag? Let's take a trip. Okay. Sweet. So, um, traveling along the road between Canton and Emeraldus, uh, you see, you see a couple of merchants as usual. Um, most of them are actually leaving instead of coming in. Yeah. You know, it's pretty early yet. Um, and yeah. How are we traveling? Our horses are in a line. Are they in a triangle? Who's in front? All that I would kind of say, stuff. I would say almost like Dorian would be in the middle. Like I would be in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Dory, I think, is in the front, like Dory. usual, tanking. No. War horse. That's what you guys did to him last session during combat. You're like, well, I think we'll just get the hell out of here. Leave the one HP no, it was okay. cleric alone. That was fine. They knew they could come back to me. But they didn't. <laughs> hey. You rolled three successes and they never touched you. You would have died if that you were. That was pretty cool. Was... Yeah, I would have died. But hey, you take some risks here and there. Yeah, that's exactly. It all works out. You give and get. Um, There's so a rite of passage. Travel order is. Yeah, I, 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 I got down my like Is in front. Six. If there's a line, if there's not a line, you. I just say we go it. single file, not make ourselves a nuisance in the town. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Who's taking? Who's who's taking the middle then? And how far are we spread out? I'll take the, a middle piece. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Um, I'm just positioning you on a map here. So you, you think you're like 10, 15 feet apart each, you think, or not? Or how close I'd, would you be traveling? I'd say we'd probably be like a five feet away from each other. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So I need perception checks from everybody. You're going to want to pass this. Uh. <laughs> uh, no. Luther, you fail. Yeah. Orsic, you fail. Devin, you fail. Devin, you have just enough. My just spidey senses are tingling. Just enough. <laughs> exactly what you needed. Um. I so. Hear something. Huh? I said I hear something. Yeah. So you roll pretty poorly. Um. But it's just ah. enough. So I think what happens is. Uh, Luther says something, you know, you're kind of talking to him and you're kind of, you didn't quite hear what he said because when the horses like sneezes or something like that, you're like, huh, what? And you crane your head back to look and you see these two large creatures in the sky fly, like beelining for you. Uh, uh guys, uh, guys, there's two giant eagle monsters the heading the right towards us. Dance, 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 Look dance, up. dance, 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 dance. And I like scratch my head and like take, like kind of tip my hat back and like look behind me. I kind of just point my. Yes, uh, you see them. <laughs> I point my finger up. Hey guys. How far away or how big do they? Um, they are probably about ninety feet away. Oh, that's close. Wow. Yeah. So he. he he, they would be, they're gonna be on you within like 12 seconds. They're flying pretty fast, it looks like, as you all are looking towards them. So, uh, I'm gonna just say this is a free round of initiative for you guys. Uh, you can do anything, and you have six seconds, um, but they will be closing pretty close. Do they look like they're flying right now? 
What was that? <laughs> they look like they're flying with the intent to kill. They're like, dude, they look like they're they're these giant birds coming straight at us. Hard, look somebody looks like they're running them. It's hard to say, but when like okay, so when something's flying in the air, uh, you can usually tell if it's trying to change its altitude over a short period of time. And these creatures look like they're changing their altitudes. Okay. Yeah, they're closing in, man. Yeah, they're like diving, basically. Okay. And it's in your direction. So if they're not going for you, then they're going for like a marmot that's 30 feet away from you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, would I remember, or would I know that griffins love horses? Remember that? Or know that? Because he rode griffins? Uh... Can we roll like a history? Sure, you can roll a history. Because okay. he rode griffins before. Mm -hmm. so, let's roll... I'm d20. He's just straight on d20. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. it's... it's enough to remember or say, say something to you over the course of your travel. Okay. Is that yeah. that is enough? It's enough to know griffins love horses. It's not right. enough to know these creatures are griffins. Yeah. Uh, so I... Alright, so they're flying at us. I guess I cast Mage Armor. Okay. Uh, so that's your action this round? Uh... uh actually, Mage Armor, and... Yeah, let's, Mage Armor. Let me just drag you to the map. Uh, hopefully you guys can see. It's on the far left. I see it. Cool. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so the creatures are coming from uh, your left flank, Dorian. Um, kind of yeah. perpendicular to where uh, Luther is, I suppose. Um, and yeah, so Orsic, you also have seen these creatures and. Yeah, what are you doing uh, as your action this free uh, round? Alright, so they're coming from like behind, right? So. Uh, yes. Uh, they're like coming from this direction, if you can see where I'm pinging. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so I kind of. Um, yeah, I guess I moved to about here. Do you dismount or um, you want me to bring your horse with you? Uh, you know what? I guess I, guess I do dismount. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, and I'm trying to, like, get a good look at him, so I'm preparing okay. for combat. So. Uh, what's your AC, Luther, with Mage Armor? Thir uh, is it, uh, let me look. Be sure. It's 13 plus yeah. dex mod. So, so 13. So... No, wait. I think I just got another dex, so... Oh, really? It is now... It's 14. Yep. 14. Oh, that's four more AC. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. JPEG. All right. So you cast Mage Armor. Um, that is. You have three first level spells left today. Uh, Dorian, you see Orsig jump off his horse, run towards these creatures that are flying off in the sky. Uh, Luther behind you, you know, j jumbles together some arcane words, and you see some sort of like thin blue magical shield appear over him uh, briefly. And yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna seize. Guys, uh, they look pretty hostile, just like the diving birds that we've never seen before. Uh, yeah, they're Orsic, definitely not. They're definitely not birds. I see Orsic's demeanor, and I'm just gonna be like, follow suit. You know, I'm gonna follow in what I, how, you know, uh, kind of head over here, I think, and stay on my horse. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna stick behind Orsic. Just for a second, you know, I'm going to stay on the horse, though, and... Okay, uh, so you're gonna not cast, gonna can, I, can I cast on a horse? Yeah. As long as the horse isn't moving, um, you can cast spells. If the horse is moving, you can't because magic uh, requires very precise movements. I'm gonna... So if the horse is doing this, you're, like, trying to cast your, you know, wave your hands around and stuff. It's not going to work. I'm going to cast Detect um, Evil and Good. Okay. 
Um, take a look at that spell. Uh, so that spell, you know these creatures are not 30 feet, uh, within 30 feet of you, but you can keep right now, right? it. Yeah, I'm going to concentrate up until they're near and just kind of get a read on them. Okay. But I'm going to stay behind Orsic for the time being. Sure. Uh, and where you're at's good? Yeah, I'm okay with it right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is all happening in the span of six seconds. Um... And you said they're like 90 feet, right? From us or so? Yeah, 90 feet away. So um, obviously it's... closing during this round as well. So the start it's... of the round, they're at 90 feet. Right, right. This round, at the start of next round, we're yeah. talking more like 30 feet. Yeah. So, I mean, is my hammer glowing as I grab a hold of it? I don't remember what the range we said was, but I thought it wasn't oh, like it was 100 feet. feet. Well, was it? Yeah. Then it is starts. It does start to glow. Like actually, probably right around the time Dorian says something to you. Otherwise, it starts glowing in the middle of this round. Because it's, okay. it's. I mean, it was. It was. This a pretty... is all happening over like the span yeah. of six. So it's hard to say exactly. It, it starts going a little bit after he says something. He obviously yeah, right. saw it as they're flying, continuing to fly forward, yeah. and then your hammer starts glowing, and then you jump off. And yeah, kind of wheel around. And... I'm gonna say something in the in the game and just be like, Orsic, your hammer is really powerful, man. <laughs> like, like it's crazy. Like, like I'm just gonna say your hammer is out like nuts, basically. Um, so and yeah, of course, insane. of course. Uh, during the course of the six seconds, they continue to or yeah dive towards you, and yeah, one of them lets out a horrible scream you can hear it uh, and they continue to fly towards you and uh, God saves. and i am no. going to play some music here all right um initiative now or sec i i don't know you didn't you didn't say you were doing anything else did you want to do anything that round no, I mean, all, all I wanted to do was, like, get in position and see if I recognized what they were. Did you want to give me another perception check for last yeah, round? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm just rolling initiative here. Uh, wow, that's a really good perception check. Uh, you've never seen these creatures before. Oh, God. Um, but, and they don't look massive. They're probably large-sized creatures. Um... But you're seeing these creatures have like three heads. No. At least Whoa. three. And these large bat like wings. And they are approaching you very quickly. God. No. Uh, uh yeah. So, so you don't ready in action or anything? Start next round? Uh no. I just go into the next round, I guess. Alright. Good luck. Uh, Dorian, you go first. They close. They are 30 feet away from you. And they're coming ping where they are coming from. This direction. I'm going to back my horse up to about this area. How do you back your horse? Oh, you're <laughs> on, okay, you st so you stay on your horse? I want to, like, yeah, I want to, like, go. Okay. I'm going to go over here. You can move, like you can right move over pretty here. far with it. Horses have, like, what, movement rate 50 or 60? Alright, cool. I'm gonna head out here. Okay. That's safe. Uh, any spells you wanna cast? I don't have anything right now except for like massive heal spells after the fact, so I'm going to just ready myself with anything. I'm, I'm just gonna be casting Guiding Bolts basically if I need to. Okay. Orsic, your turn. These creatures are still in air. There's no way you can reach them with your hammer right now, but they are 30 feet away approximately and they're diving towards you. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, I just rage, and I guess ready action. So, if they get within range, I'm gonna attack them. Okay. Luther, your turn. God, they went at the end of the round. You're so lucky, you bastards. I know. Uh, Luther is... Oh, what does Luther want to do? Praise Dorian for that <laughs> perception check. You guys, they would have ambushed you. Oh, God. Free rounds of whatever attacks they do. Um. 
Breath of AIDS, probably. God, I wanna freaking. I'm gonna go uh, with Blight, I think. What's the range on Blight? Uh, 30 feet. Oh, 30 oh, feet. Ah, uh, right. yeah, you're gonna have to move. Yeah, no, then I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do Firebolt at one of them. Because they're 30 feet. feet away, but they're like 30 feet in the air away, so you're gonna have to like move, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm not gonna cast Blight if it's, if it's that far. I'm just gonna cast Firebolt at one of them. Okay. Go ahead and try. There's one on the left and one on the right. Which are you aiming for? The one on the right. Okay. Uh, 18 is a hit. 19 points of damage. Ouch. Nice. Uh, I need to just make sure that... One thing about it real quick. Blight isn't single target, right? Blight is single target. Oh, I think there must be thinking of something else. Wow, that's surprising. Okay. Cool. So you, you ping it with your firebolt and it lets out a scream of anger. Yeah, just like that, actually. Um, Alright, and the one on the left goes flying. Let's see what. I'm gonna turn my light on for you. Yeah, that's a good idea. So. It flies here, uh, and I need to... Excellent. It flies here, and you guys need to make me dexterity saving throws. Both of you, nope, Luthard and Orsic. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh me? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, please be good. I'm gonna roll the four. Oh, wow. Dang. That's just surprising that Luther managed to pass that. I mean, possibly pass I'm that. I'm just trying to figure out if it hits your horse. I don't think so. I think just barely missed doesn't hit your horse. Um, cool. Uh, so you... Wow, an 18. That is a pass, Luther. Nicely no, done. Orsic, you take... So, yeah, the dragon head on one of these creatures breathes a gout of flame at both of you. And Orsic, you take 30 points of damage, so half of that. Uh, and Luther, you take 15 points of damage. Uh, and the next one comes in from around the back. This one also then moves in as well, and makes... Uh, it's going to make a... Bite and a claw attack at you, Luther. Um... The, so it comes with the lion's head bites at you. Uh, 14, no, 16 to hit is enough. And it deals you 14 points of piercing damage. Lion's head rips into you. Uh, and then the claws come in. And uh, they slash, but you feel that your mage armor holds against the claws. Um, then this guy comes in. Let's see. He's going to... Do, 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 do. Make three attacks at you, Orsic. And three hits. It bites you with the... Uh, sorry, with the... Actually, with the dragon head, it bites you. And 24 to hit, correct. Uh, does hit. 13 piercing damage, so you take six. Um, natural 20 with the goat horns on you. For 14, so 7. And then 24 to hit with the claws, which also hit, so 8 on top of that as well. So another 4. Uh, but since it's in range, correct, I can swing at it? Yes, you can swing at it once. Yes. Then 
that I do indeed. Which one do you swing at? I guess it's probably uh, the, the one first that's one attacking that range. me. Or, okay. You read well. You yeah. readied an action to attack yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. came. That's yeah. <clears throat> that one came in range first. Yeah. Uh, that is a hit. You are still raging, so twenty-two. 22. Nice. It's a good solid hit. Whack it across one of their faces, and does not fall. I'm trying to figure out why this music stopped. Can you still hear it? Yeah, I can still hear it. I can hear it. The darkest dungeon. Yep. Okay. Thing is, dungeon combat music. I so. guess that's all that matters. If you guys can hear it. Uh, initiative. What do I? What is with Luther tonight? Been rolling decent. Dorian, you're at the top of the round. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, I you, know your, your, uh, God, what was it? I don't know what spell it was. What did you cast? Detect evil and good. Okay. Um, they are in range of you now. <clears throat> it detects if they are an aberration, a celestial, an elemental, a fey, a fiend, or an undead. They are none of those things. Cool. Um, your turn. So, what are you gonna do? Six second cast. rounds. Cast guiding bolt, but I don't have a macro for guiding bolt. Is it? Uh, three. Just, just click, click. Just click the spell, though. You don't need to always do that. You can just click the oh, spell. Cool. Like, where is guiding bolt? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Just click it. Just click it like that. And I was going to shoot it at the one year Luther. Um, so yeah, a f eight to hit is a miss. Damn. Yeah. Sorry, brah. Alright. That's all I'm going to do. So make sure you're marking off your spells, too. Uh, you use two spells. They're both first level. Okay. Luther, your turn. Uh, this thing's within five feet of me, right? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's focused on me, right? Ah, uh, kind of. Yeah, it, it bit at you. One in the uh, was at least. You. Okay, so if I try to move back a little bit, it would attack me. It's hard to tell what they're focusing on because their heads kind of crane in different directions, but right. yeah. I'm just wondering, like, attack of opportunity wise. Ah, uh, yes, you will take an attack of opportunity if you try to get away. Yeah. Then I'll just, uh. If I blight this thing right next to me, do I get disadvantage? Yes. Always have disadvantage on melee spellcasting. Alright. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't know if you need to roll to hit with Blight. I... You just attack them. Isn't that correct? I know, but I want to make sure. Uh, it's... Oh. I don't know why you always do that. Just click I'll the spell. To, oh, right. I just like to read it. Oh. Well, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Why does it do it like that? I have it for spell card. I have it set to spell card. It should not be casting it like that. Uh, I don't know. So. Well, I mean, I'll take I, the I'll take the first roll. No, no, no. I I was just test rolling those. Uh, yeah, you don't have to roll the hit for blight. All right, cool. Then I'll, I'll probably do blight on the cigarette in front of me. Actually, no. This is what I'll do. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, uh, what's it called? Away. This is step away. Okay. Which is a bonus action. Alright, that's one of your second level spells. And I'll, I'll do it to here. Okay, go ahead and move your character. Right here. Uh, and then, uh, which I believe, don't I have to, yeah, I gotta cast Mild Magic Surge. Yep. Which is a one! Oh! Uh, didn't you cast something else too, or no? No, that was the first thing I cast. Alright, so... God, we oh, haven't done this in a while. Now you, you still... No, no, no. Still move to the 30 spaces away. 30 feet away. Oh, that's cool. A, wild, a random magical effect? Yeah, so... Misty uh, steps 30 feet away and you have turns to... into a unicorn. 
That's okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click all this shit till I find what I'm looking for. Where? What do you have to roll? On the magic, I get the wild on the magic, magic search table. table. Yeah, I understand that. You roll a d20 or what? That was like a d100. Uh. I don't know why we okay, don't have. Then I roll. You have, you have your own search table you created. I thought I had to roll like a d. No, no, no. I, I know that. I was asking, what did we set the precedent on what you roll? I don't, I don't know what it means. Roll the table. What do, I, what do I roll to find out the effect? Yes. I thought you had a table and I rolled like a D100 or whatever, and then whatever number I That's what I was asking. A D100? Is that how many... Alright, just know. roll... You roll a D100. Alright. Obviously no one understands the question I'm asking. Sorry, I'm reading. Thing two. Holy cow. Wow, okay, so Wild Magic Surge, as you blink from one portion of the realm uh, material plane to the other, the following effect falls upon you. Roll on this table at the start of each of your turns for the next minute, ignoring this result on subsequent rolls. <laughs> Wait, what? You're going to be casting my Magic Surges every single round of this combat. That's basically what it means. <laughs> for the next minute, yeah. Next minute is ten rounds. So okay, yes. so, so no matter what, it's like a so chain very reaction. unlikely this takes ten rounds. It's like yeah. a wild surge chain reaction. Oh god, I'm like, uh, uh. So all right, yeah, like every, it's like, oh, all oh, it smells. Oh no. Oh. Nothing immediately happens, but you feel like something will happen. So can I still can I still cast this stuff? Absolutely. <laughs> yep. But you're gonna roll on the wild magic keep surge. Keep channeling. Keep channeling. Oh. All right, you're good. What are you gonna cast? Light. All right, what do you cast the light on? That one. All right, do it. I cast it. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, yeah, I'll cast it at fourth level. Okay. That is not a great blight at all. No, that is a very miserable blight. Probably one of the worst. Uh, so it needs to make a con save. Hey, he had an eight and a six in there. Two two six Ooh. one two three eight one. Uh, and it and it passes the con save. <laughs> Twelve damage. Uh, yeah. That's all. So it takes twelve damage from your blight. Your should fourth level spell. Fire <laughs> Fireball the cantrip spell is better. I've done more uh, damage. That's great. Yeah, it looks very annoyed with you. It actually kind of like reels, cranes one of its heads to look at you. Orsic, your turn. At the bottom of the round, they're going again. Uh, yeah, so I swing at that same one right there. Should have um, cast the haste on Okay. Yes. I'm just gonna swing away. 15. Uh, yep, that hits. For 13 damage. And swing it again. Let's see what that does. Uh, that is just enough. Ow. Another 14. I found- I finally found a creature on the uh, physical plane that has less AC than me. <laughs> okay. Um, this creature... Yeah, I guess they're just gonna keep going for you, Orsic, because you just struck it really. It was gonna go for Luther, but then you just like whacked it twice pretty good. So they're just, well... Nah, let me, let me roll for it. You both did quite a bit of damage to it. All right, it's going for Luther. Yay! So it's gonna fly over to you. Uh, you get an attack of opportunity, Orsic, as it Wait. takes off. Crap on it. Cool. All right, that is another pretty good hit. Twenty-two again. Twenty-two damage. Twenty-three. And you're so fucking broken. I need oh, to get you Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I don't know so. What that uh, God, never get, never ever give your players magical items like this. Oh, it's too good. All right, so it's gonna make three attacks at you, Luther, and all three hit. Uh, a bite, a horn attack, and a claw attack. You take twenty-eight damage total. What's the point of having freaking mage armor? Kidding. 
It's a good buffer. I mean, it did save you quite a bit of damage from one of the attacks. Yeah. Uh, this creature... is going to make three attacks at you, Orsig. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> it sucks ass. I need another con save, or a dex save from you, though. Uh, so the dragon head breathes a gout of flame at you and Fun. you pass the save. Of One course you do. So natural 20s on saves, uh, I just reflect it back with my hammer. <laughs> no. I reflect the fire back. Uh, so you take 15 points of damage. Yeah, it was 30. And then... Uh, you passed your save, so you took 15, and then I guess you're raging, so you take 7. Oh. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That seems kind of broken to me. I, I really don't like the precedent of having heavy damage. Uh... I think, Hold on. I think we've been doing that for you. Uh, but it was fire, right? Fire, yeah. It's only, I guess we've been forgetting, but it, it's, I mean, it's resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Not like fire damage or anything. Oh, okay. Then... So that might have been 15. myth last week, yeah. No, it, it probably I didn't, taking, like, because they were just like, biting and kicking yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it probably didn't affect the combat last time. But this time it does, so you take 30 damage, so it would be 15 with rage. And then I need to go back up because you, we halved your damage from the other one. From a fire? From fire? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought I was only taking bite attacks earlier. Oh, no, no, no. no. The, the time I no, had the, the saving throw. Save the right. other one did a gout of flame earlier. Yeah, uh, so, I failed to save. So... Oh, you failed that save? Yes. But you were raging, is that correct? Uh... Yes? Yes. So but I, I don't think, think I took half damage from it. I don't think you gave me half damage on it. I'm pretty sure this I did. Damage roll. It's like the we're first, not gonna dude, the first round I went down like 100 and... Like, 4 HP or whatever. I gave you half damage right now, Walden. You... I said that you, uh, you were raging. I knew you were raging from last yeah, round. Yeah. So, um, I see my So don't save. don't worry about last don't worry about the last gout of flame. I'm pretty sure that we have it correct. Okay. Um but this round just make sure that you took fifteen. Yeah. Um for passing, that's pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. Ra if rage doesn't count for the gout of flame. I took half this round because I passed my deck save. Yeah, so you should probably take fifteen more then. Because like, I know, what? unless you're certain that you did minus 30 HP from just one fire breath, which I'm pretty sure you didn't. Pretty sure you didn't. No. Then you should take another 50. Because you failed the save and rage does not count towards flame breath. Alright. Cool. Um... And then it misses with most of its attacks, but let's see. Uh, the horn attacks miss you, and the claw attacks hit you. So you get slashed for another 11, so that's 5. Uh, and then initiative. My god, do not go at the end of the round, please. Oh, please no. go to the end of the round. What the fuck? Oh, Rolls. Alright, Dorian. Uh, you go first. Of course, the, of course Which the one, one has 14. Four. What? Which one has 14 initiative? Mine. I mean, you wouldn't know that in-game. <laughs> nah, if it's making shifty ads, I'll know. Um, <laughs> you go before it, so technically it doesn't matter. That's like seeing into the future. I'm going to get off my horse, step, step a little ways back, like right here, 
and pop another guiding bolt at the one uh, at the top. Okay. Towards the Do it up. Face. Do it up. Better not hit me in the face, though. And I'm going to cast it for a level 2 spell slot. So I'm going to do another one. Ooh. Oh. That was pretty good. He did more damage so... than a freaking... Whatever. <laughs> so you've cast... Nice. You have one level 2 spell left? Okay. Yeah. So I just, I'm going to take that off right now. Yep. Alright, yeah. So you blast it really good uh, for 21 points of damage. And the creature looks like it's about to fall, but does not. Looks pretty battered and beaten. Um, no, my turn. Okay. Excellent! Perfect. Uh, Luthard. The creature in a Hail Mary blasts you with his flame breath once more. Give me a dex save. Nope. Perfect. Uh, so you take... I'm down, probably. Take 24 points yep, of damage done. from the flame breath. And you are burned alive, bleeding <coughs> to death. Uh, and then it immediately turns around in fury at what almost killed it and flies in your direction and takes... Two more attacks at you, Luther or Dorian. Um, what is your? It's AC fourteen. Yes, lucky, lucky you. You one of the so the claws miss, but the bite does connect with you for twelve points of damage. So yeah, the lion rips into your shoulder with its big. Uh, mandibles, but you do not die. You just take some damage. Four six turn. Uh, give me a sec. Character sheet, real quick. Um. What? Don't I have, like, ensnaring roots or whatever? It's not written down anywhere. Ensnaring toots. Nature's Wrath. Channel Divinity. Probably. I know you had something like that. Yeah. Most of that stuff I leave to you to remember. Oh. Ensnaring Strike. And that's just a regular spell. Okay. So I actually have to have that, like, memorized for the day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. No, I thought it was a channel... Oh, is it not a channel divinity? It's, it's a spell? Nope, it's uh, oh. the ancient spell. Okay, yeah, you have to memorize. My channel divinity is the nature's wrath. Which, wait, is essentially the same freaking thing, except I don't have to hit him. Mm -hmm. uh, as an action, you can cause spectral vines to spring up and reach for a creature within 10 feet of you. I thought we changed your channel divinity to that nature thing. Like the yeah, green so we got rid of the turn the faithless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the green That's right. That thing was useless, basically. Yeah, turn the faithless and so... Uh, yeah, so... Um... Let's see. Alright, so... This round... Orsic, uh... Uses his channel divinity, Nature's Wrath, on this homeboy right here. Uh, so, let's see. What does it? What does it do? Do I have a thing for it up here? No, I don't. Okay, so it is. You can use your channel divinity to invoke primeval forces to ensnare a foe. As an action, you can cause spectral vines to spring up and reach for a creature within ten feet of you uh, that you can see. The creature must succeed on a strength or dex saving throw, its choice, or be restrained. While restrained by the vines, the creature repeats the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. On a success, it frees itself and the vines vanish. Okay, so. Uh, strength or dex. That's your action? Yes. Okay. 
Um, do you try to? Are you gonna try and back up and take an attack of opportunity before you do that, or are you just gonna stay uh, right where you are? I'm gonna stay. Because right now it's in range of you. Yes. I mean, it's got to be within ten feet of me, anyways. Right. Okay. So I do that. Right, so you cast it. Um, and it needs to roll a, a strength, strength or dex or save. Dex. It's true, so. Okay. Um, and what does it need to clear? Uh, I Both assume higher. my. I, assume I know your your wasn't charisma, really that high. So yes, yeah, thirteen is my spell save DC. All right, it chooses strength and it passes. No problem. Literally a dragon. Literally yeah, so it passes. Um, you still have movement this round, yeah. but if you move, you will take an attack of opportunity. Which might be three heads. You don't know. Um. Uh, well, I guess if it's going to be not staying still, I stay where I am for now. And, uh, I don't think you know if it's going to be... I mean, maybe... I'm assuming it rolls its save on its turn. So you see these things wrap around it. Okay. Right? And then on its turn, it rolls a save and it passes, um, which I guess we're going to its turn now, uh, well, and it's going to make three more attacks well, at you. Hold up, hold up. Because, like, if, if I'm... if So if I don't see it fail... like if I see You don't it, see like, it fail until its turn so, when it rolls a save, right? Sure. If, if, so, yes. if that's what you, you want to rule it, it, okay. So because yeah, it doesn't roll yeah. the save until its turn. Yes. Because so. it's not it's not like a, it's taking damage right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if that's the case, then uh, I disengage. Like. You can't disengage. That was your action. Oh, I guess yeah. Disengage is the full action, isn't it? So I can I can only move. I'm, um, what I'm saying is you can move, but you will take an attack of opportunity. Yes. Um, and we're taking way too long time on your six Well, I know, so. because you, like, you... The way you worded it, so... Um, yeah, so I just... I'm gonna stay right here, then. And fucking heal myself with... Uh... Because... Damn it. Yeah, I mean, because it goes right after you, so I went to yeah. start rolling.